From the curve, we have seen only a single curve, which is the custom curve. That's because you can customize it the way you would like. Let's look now at the hue versus hue. All you have to do is to select it, or you can go to the second point here. Hue versus hue, what does it mean? Actually, you can translate it into color versus color, meaning you're gonna select a color from the curve and change it to another color. That's what it means. Remember when you play with the hue here, we are actually cycling through the colors, changing them from blue to red to blue again. Though you can put a point and another point and start playing with the curve. Well, that's very interesting. You change things almost randomly unless you know exactly what you're doing. I will reset. There are two ways mainly to work with the curves. You either select a color from over here or with the color picker, you select a color from within your image. Let's start from the colors here. Notice the colors. You have the primary colors, red, green, and blue. Okay, I skipped one in between. Then you have the secondary colors, that is yellow, cyan, magenta. And notice the color wheel over here. Red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta. Exactly like this. So you're not going far, this is not random. So you could select a color from here and change it to another color. I will click on the yellow. Now this is what happened. Three points were created. The extremity points are the range of the yellow from over here to over here. The middle point is the yellow. And actually you will change the middle one and the other two will act as anchors. So if I click here, I'm changing now the yellow towards purple. Here you are. So you notice it has changed to purple, whatever was yellow. In fact, we are selecting only one node, which is this node, and we are working just over here. Then you can go down and select another color for the yellow. Now your yellow has become green. You can decide how do you want it, and also you can add more points. Okay, so let's go like this. So now we have different kinds of colors. So the yellow range now is two ranges if you look at it. Now it's three ranges if you like, something like this. Okay, don't be very happy about the curves. Maybe the influence is not better. To remove a point, all you have to do is to right click on it. And you can remove the last one if you like. Then you can come back and put another point and just move it. I'm explaining this because it applies to all the other curves. I will reset this one. Let's select the red now. You notice here you have the two anchor points. Okay, these are the extremity. Because the red will extend from this point, it goes forward and it turns around to this one. So you can imagine how the line comes here and then it turns around to the line. So the anchor points are this one and this one. So the right extremity is this point and the left extremity is this point. So if I grab the red, I can take it up and notice how it's coming up from both sides of the graph. Now I'm changing whatever is red, I'm changing it. Now it's purple and down maybe it's going to be green. Beautiful. Notice every single pixel that has red here has been changed to green. That's pretty powerful. Of course, you can come around and start playing and doing other stories if you like to. I will reset this one. Let's uh, select, for example, the green. Now you have the two extremities and the green in between. I will move it up and down. And when you see nothing happening, it means this area or this image that you have doesn't have any green or doesn't have any influence within the green. Okay, so really you're not changing anything. Notice the graph is not moving. So I will reset it. Let's take the blue just to show you. This is the range of the blue. And then you can go up and down and nothing is changing because blue influence here is almost nil. The second way to change the colors is to select your color from the screen. Now we are on this node and we're working on this part. For example, I'm going to take the red over here. Now, notice how it's narrower because I'm not selecting all the red. I'm selecting a specific color over here. And this is the range of the color I have selected, the two extremities. I can click on it and take it up. Notice what's changing. Notice that there is a difference between what she's wearing and the color. It wasn't like this before. Then I click and drag down. Notice how the change are. Of course, you can take it left and right the way you would like. Now, if it's not good for you like this, you are missing something, you can extend the range of the color. Here you are. Okay, so if this point starts moving with you, no problem. My mouse is very sensitive. 
You can just come to the hue rotate here, select the point, come over here, type zero, you are back to zero here. Now we go back and we can change what you want. Notice when I extended the range of the two extremities, some other colors started to change around. This is because we have more range here. If you can click and go to the other side, so now <laughs> the point is over here, okay? I'm adding very much of the range. I go back and put it zero so it doesn't move. And then other range now is being changed. Let's come to the first node here and select the red over here. Notice how narrow it is. Then I'm gonna change the color. Here you are. So it's changing the color of the butterfly. It's keeping some kind of rent here. I can extend the range. Here you are. And notice what's happening. This is narrowing the range. This is extending it. I'll pull it back to zero. And you are changing the range of these red colors over here. I reset it. I will add a new node. Come with the color picker and select the red. So now we're taking the whole image with the last node. And the red here, I'm gonna increase it. Here you are. Let's extend a bit the range, just from here a bit, to include all the butterfly. And even from here, put it back to zero. Then notice we have changed all the red towards purple and stories like this. Okay, pretty cool and pretty nice. So when your editor will come and tell you, or the chief editor will come and tell you, this girl was dressed in red, make her dressed in blue. This is how you do it. Hue versus hue. But uh, also there are other methods that I will show you. So this is about hue versus hue. And I talked a lot because I love it. It's very interesting. And actually, when you shoot a video, mainly at home, and you change the color of the cloth, they're all like, I don't have this shirt. Thank you. I'll see you in the next lecture.